Hello guys, you're welcome again to another After Effects Tutorials and today I want to show you how you can create this fun text animation in Adobe After Effects without the use of any plugin. So support me on this one, do not forget to like the video, subscribe to the YouTube channel, turn on the notification, then come back, let's get started. Now in Adobe After Effects, I'm going to start with a new composition. I'm going to make this composition 400 by 600 in height and then name this text. The duration of the animation is actually 5 seconds but I'm going to leave this at 10 seconds and then hit OK. Then right click on your timeline, go to new and add a new text. I'm going to type in my first letter. The size is 400. You can hit Y to activate the anchor point tool and then hold down control to snap it into position. So I'm going to bring it to the bottom of the composition completely and align this to center. Now right click on your test, go to layer style and add an overlay color. We're going to open up the properties of the overlay color. I'm going to set this to blue and then hit OK. I will right click again, go to layer style and then add bevel and emboss. Expand the properties. Make sure the style is at inner bevel. The technique to smooth, pop up the size to 55 and soften to 8. Change the highlight color to a brighter blue. I'm going to change the shadow color to a darker blue. Now let's go back, right click again, go to layer style and add an inner shadow. Expand the inner shadow properties. First, we're going to change the color to white. Change the blend mode to normal. We're going to increase the size to 10. Increase the distance to 12. Now select your text layer, hit U to collapse all the properties. So I'll come to 13th frame and set a keyframe for the position. Then I'll move to somewhere around 10 frames. I'll move this up. Then I'll move back to zero and then pull this completely out of the frame below the composition. Select all the keyframes. Right click and then go to keyframe assistance and then select easy ease. We're going to edit the speed graph. Edit your speed graph like this so that you have similar motion with mine. So if you preview now, this is what you're going to have. Beautiful. Select your text layer. Hold and shift to press the S so that you can reveal the scale properties. And then we're going to set a keyframe at zero. Then we, we check this to uncheck the uniform scale. At this point, I'm going to increase the Y axis upward somewhat like this. And when it drops to the floor, I want to shrink the Y axis to about 80. Move forward in time and still pull up the Y axis and then move forward again and return the Y axis to 100. Select all your keyframe, hit F9 to easy ease. Now, if you preview this, this is what you're going to have. Beautiful. We're going to make sure all these keyframes are four frame away from each other. So, but this is not enough. We're going to make this more realistic and more fun. So we're going to add an effect called warp effect. Set the style to bulge and set the warp axis to vertical. Now we're going to move to zero and set a keyframe for the bend. Then we're going to move to where it lifts up right there and reduce this until it is very slim like this. Minus 24 is okay. That is negative 24. So when it hits the floor, we're going to change this to 23. Let's see. At this point, we set the bend to zero. Hit you on your keyboard to reveal the keyframe and then easy ease. But I want to add some more movement. So I'm going to add an effect called CC Bend It. We're going to set the end to the bottom. And we're going to set the start upward there until you can completely see your text. We're going to move our time indicator to zero and set a keyframe for the bend on the CC bend it. 
Then we we'll move up to this point and increase the bend to negative until it almost touch the wall of that. Then when it hits the floor, we're gonna move the bend to positive side. That is at the opposite direction to somewhat like this. Then we're gonna keep doing this for the rest of the keyframes. So I will equally move four, four frames forward in time and create a motion like this. At this point, I'll set it to zero. Hit you on your keyboard to reveal the keyframes and then easy is. Now, if you preview the entire animation, this is what you have. We now have some secondary motion to the text. Beautiful. So I want this animation to reverse backward. So instead of duplicating this and reversing the keyframes, I want to duplicate the keyframe backward from four seconds. So I'm gonna go to four seconds and hit end to set my preview point. So I'll copy this first keyframe and paste it at that point. So I'll repeat it. I'll be coming back and be copying the keyframes the way they are. So I'm gonna select all these keyframe and just stretch them forward so that it will happen slower than what it was from the beginning so if you preview this entire animation now this is what you have beautiful so we are done now so Control n to create a new composition in this new composition i'm going to call it main and i'm going to set this to 1920 by 1080 i'll leave every other setting to be the same and then hit ok Let's switch this to project manager window. So I'm gonna hold the text right here. I will duplicate it three more times. This will depend on the number of characters available in your words. So I'm gonna duplicate this three more times. Control D on your keyboard to do that. So I'll go into each of them and change the font. I'll go back to the main composition drag the entire text composition into the timeline i'll move it on the y-axis a bit so that it will be at the center so i'm going to select the f and then arrange them then we're going to offset this and now if you preview this is what you're going to have So select all this composition and pre-compose it. Control D on the keyboard to duplicate it. So I'm gonna hold on and flip it like this. So move it below. Select the ellipse tool and then mask it like this. Hit F on your keyboard to reveal the feather property for the mask. And increase the feather hit t on your keyboard to reveal the opacity we're going to drop this opacity to about 30. if you preview the entire thing now this is what you have i then added a bg it is pretty simple using a solid layer and a ramp so guys this is how you can create a font text animation in adobe after effect without the use of any third party plugin if you learned something new on this video, please hit the like button. That will enable the algorithm to suggest this to more people. If you have any questions, please feel free to ask me in the comment section and I'll reply to all questions as quick as I can. If you haven't subscribed to my channel yet, please subscribe to my YouTube channel. You can support me in any way. You can give me super thanks. Subscribe to my membership, whatever way you want to support me with. Even if you share the video, that is also a huge support and it is highly appreciated. If you like the video, leaving a comment is all a support. So in whatever way you are able to support me, I highly appreciate you. So until I see you again on the next one, my name is SSB Otaru from Motion Digit Studios.